whitetail and squirrels in the heart of America's Dairyland. I'm here with Helen Cho, Doug Duran, I'm Brittany Brothers, and I think Steve's up there, I'm not sure. <laughs> Take it over. Yeah, that's good. I'm Steven Ronella. To me, hunting isn't only about the pursuit of an animal. It's about who we are and what we're made of. I live to hunt and hunt to live. I am a meat eater. Last year, I took my friends Helen Cho and Brittany Brothers on their first big game hunt in Montana's Sweetgrass Hills. It was a tough couple of days of climbing, freezing, and climbing some more. Brittany worked hard but got skunked. Helen worked hard and got a cow elk. I'm gonna be thinking about that shot for a long, long time. This year, we're at it again at my favorite Midwest haunt, the Duran Family Farm in southwestern Wisconsin's Driftless area. We're three days out from the opener of the big shebang, the whitetail rifle season. Helen and Brittany are gonna build on their hunting experience, this time trading long climbs for long waits. But first, we need to deal with a practical matter, marksmanship. Brittany and Helen want to improve their shooting abilities, so I've arranged for my friend Tony Paulskill, a Marine Corps sniper school instructor, to give them some tips on shooting from a seated position in a deer blind. So when you were an instructor, how long would your course be? We shot for about six weeks out of the course, close to a thousand rounds. Well, you can tell these guys in 10 minutes, all that same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> everything is really basic. Consistency is accuracy. The round should go in the same spot if you're doing everything the right way. So the biggest thing is, I would call it pushing or pulling. It's really what you're shooting off of. So push is probably gonna work a lot easier. You simply grab that sling, lean this on the front side, and you're gonna push. Now you're able to keep that rifle super steady. If your shots are going like this, it's because your breathing was completely messed up. You should pull the trigger as you're breathing out or no. after you breathe out? You always do it on your breath out. So at the bottom of the breath? At the bottom of the breath. How far into the six week course are we right now? Uh, <laughs> this is week three. We're day one. <laughs> I feel like my problem is that I pop my head up after I pull the trigger. Dry fire, dry fire, and dry fire. Knowing when that trigger is gonna go off is key. Doing it over and over, it's gonna be second nature. Like, oh, there's a deer. Good. That's perfect. How are you feeling, Joe? Good. You got your headphones on backwards. They do? We'll get you squared away. <laughs> you wanna go first? You can go first. You go first. All right, fine. Oldest first. <laughs> Oldest first? <laughs> Good. You look mean, Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm all over the place. Oops. This was Helen's last shot. Until this happened, she was kicking ass. It's not that bad. I call this your fluke. It's a good fluke. It's a great, it's a great fluke. But you couldn't be really any more centered than you are right here. Don't feel discouraged. When I was a kid, my old man would take a milk jug and fill it full of water and set it out. You hit the milk jug, it's time to go hunt. Yeah. Well, hopefully I just take one shot on the deer. You're doing awesome. <laughs> now it's time for Helen and Brittany to test their shooting skills in the real world circumstances of the squirrel woods. The quarry is small and it moves quick so there's some legitimate challenge. And the lightweight 22 rifles are good for easing people into the fact that guns go boom real loud, which can rattle beginner shooters. It's the perfect deer hunting warm-up routine with tasty results. If we get in a situation where we don't have a good head shot, you can shoot right in the body. But the head is what you're going for. Don't hit them in the back hands. But yeah, if you hit them in the mid, here in the ribs, you're fine. You don't waste any meat. Let me see that rifle. So I'm left-handed, but grab the tree like this. OK, you shoot squirrels all day long like that. See, there he goes. 
Evet. Here's a tip. You gotta shoot. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I think there's gonna be more. You looking for squirrel? Yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear that. What does it look like up there? Looking for squirrels or just double checking? Oh, he's coming right at us. Just let him do it. Let him come, let him come, let him come. Got a girl! Oh, stop. <laughs> Fill this thing up, and it's time to go home. <laughs> yeah. Hell and Joe, Squirrel Slayer. That's a good shot. Wow, he's a big one. Where did I shoot him? Oh, I shot him like three. It went, it went wow. there. Came out there. Male or female? Oh, it's a male, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Very <laughs> Yes, it is. That is a big squirrel. That's pretty good. Thank you. You can take the tail back and make a hat out of it, aren't you? Can I? <laughs> oh, yeah. You salty ends of them. Hang it on your antenna of your car. He's <laughs> so, like, redneck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want you to do it. <laughs> My dad would be so proud. <laughs>
You could do like a buffalo. Buffalo squirrel legs. Now you're messing with it. But then you're falling into the whole thing of, are we eating squirrel or not? Or are we here to like mouse fart around? Mouse farting around. <laughs> Small time in it. Love it or leave it. When I first came out here, Doug said, if you shoot a buck, he needs to belong on the top row. So Steve said he's going to knock me off my stool if he sees a nice buck. <laughs> I've never killed anything but a juvenile squirrel <laughs> on this farm. Wow. So. Except for Steve, yeah. you can shoot the first deer you see if you want to, if it's a good shot and you feel like you can make a good clean kill on it. I want you to concentrate more on the shot that you're going to take rather than the deer that you're going to shoot at. I guess I'd feel comfortable kind of looking at the anatomy. What I'll do shooting animals like deer, I'm generally thinking about going back three or four inches, and you got this big kill zone. You can be off six inches in every direction and still kill the deer. Can you tell pretty much right away whether it's down or whether you need to go shoot so, it again? There's so much body language. When you hit something in the spine, the back end just seems to drop out from under it. And oftentimes, it'll not be dead. An animal that goes like this is shot good, and he's dead or dead. An animal that seems to slunk down, it's bad. This stuff is it's generalizations, but that often suggests to me you hit it far back. OK, show me on that guy. Right there? Yeah. OK, show me on that guy. Yeah. yeah. Show me that shot. Mm, here? No, no, no. You're way off. Here? Yeah, there you go. All right, I feel a little better <laughs> after that lesson. From what I've seen, you don't have anything to be concerned about. Steve, you got a lot to worry about. <laughs> oh, stop. You better have a sleepless night. <laughs> Tossing and turning. Tired? I'd go up there and take a nap, man. <laughs> Hit me with a pep talk, man. You know, like, stick with it, man, you know? <laughs> Just takes one. Shoot straight. Shoot and straight. Keep your, uh, huh? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not there. You had nothing in you. I got nothing. There's nothing in there. All right, Helen, let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. Hands in. One, two, three. Happy to have you all here. Good luck, and let's be safe out there. That was good. Yeah, that's good. Woo. How do I get up here? Can I go around? Uh-oh. Just a little hunting tip. Yeah. If you see water, it's flowing. Yeah. Can't go around it. <laughs> Thanks. It keeps going. <laughs>
Helen and I go several hours without seeing a single deer. Finally, in the early afternoon, our luck turns. I missed. No, he's down. Yeah. True to form, Helen was dead on. A heart shot with very little meat damage. Almost ideal. Like building her own blind, gutting her own deer is part of the process. So while she works on that, I'm keeping my eye out for any deer that might roll through. I've got my own tags in my pocket. Sure enough, a few minutes later, I catch a movement through the trees. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he was top row. Why don't we bring you up here a little bit? I'm not shoving you out of the way. I'm just moving you out of the way. <laughs> They're following those toes. Oh, here he comes. Oh, it's a doe. Where'd she go? Boy, I'll tell you what, that buck walks the same place where she does. He's going to be dead.
broadside.